What's up everybody, welcome to the first episode of Top 5 Dope Clips, where I feature the best War Thunder clips that you guys sent me. So let's jump into it. This first one is from Codex3777, who is flying the MiG-29 SMT in a realistic match. He just fired off an R-73 and manages to take out an F-16C, but now he's in a sticky situation because he's outnumbered I think 3 or 4 to 1. He can't get a lock on this F4S because he's facing straight into the sun, so he fires off a few rounds. As he's turning around to re-engage with the F4S, he takes some bullets to the left wing, and now he's really hurting. But as he's spinning out of control, he manages to get a lock on the F4S and fires off an R-73. And boom! Target destroyed. You can call it Russian bias if you want, but that was pretty epic. I love how this burning MiG-29 is falling next to him. And even though that F4S is firing off countermeasures, the R-73 stays on target. Thank you, Codex. That was pretty dope. Alright, this next clip is from Lucy Lu 2, who is flying the premium Spitfire LF Mark 9C in an arcade battle. Now most of you know that flying props in arcade is my favorite thing to do in War Thunder. And I almost felt like I was looking at one of my own clips. Because if you look closely you can see Lucy is using both flaps and rudder to stay with this enemy Spitfire. I love the aggressiveness and I really love how you're sticking with them all the way through this downward spiral and eventually take him out. Very nice head-on kill of this Doe 217, and even though he took a... it looks like he may have taken a critical hit there, he still managed to outmaneuver the enemy Spitfire and send him back to the hangar. Lucy Lu 2, thank you for the clip. That was dope. The next clip comes from Samplay YT, who's in the T44100 in a ground realistic match. Right here he spots a disabled M41 and fires his massive 100mm cannon straight at it and somehow it misses? Let's take another look at that and you tell me what you think happened there, but it looks like it should have killed him. Anyway, he peeks around the corner again and this time his aim is true. This full clip was something like two minutes long, but I'll just show you a little bit more of it. I don't know how he does it, he just seems to have a sixth sense about knowing where the enemy is going to be. And he's just killing people left and right. Excellent tanking there, Sample YT. Thank you for the clip, that was dope. The next clip is from DP1234506, where he's flying a MiG-29 in a realistic battle. It's only about 5 seconds long, so I slowed it down here quite a bit. Are you kidding me? Look at that shot. Okay, let's take another look. So he's, he's taking this F-16A vertical, and he's got his throttle at zero right now. Which means he's probably trying to get the F-16 to overshoot. And right here he starts to stall, and it looks like he's got his flaps deployed too. But he does this crazy spin maneuver and miraculously gets his guns on target. It's, what a shot. Alright, one more time at regular speed. Thank you for the clip, DP. That was dope. The last clip comes from the final credits, who's flying a BF-109G6, and it looks like he's just doing a 1v1 duel with another BF-109G6. You can see he's got the rocket mods strapped under the wing, but just watch this. <laughs> what? I mean, that was perfect. Alright, we gotta see this one more time. In the initial merge, he fires a rocket, which hits the ground pretty close by. His opponent starts to go into a loop, and right here, final credits cuts his throttle to zero. 
And when he sees the other G6 getting close, he goes full throttle and lines up the perfect close range rocket shot. Thank you for the clip final credits. That was dope. And that is it for this episode of Top 5 Dope Clips. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, give this video a like and let me know what you think in the comments. If you'd like to submit your War Thunder clips for a chance to be featured in a future episode, please check out the video description below for guidelines. Alright everybody, thank you for watching. Take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.